Hey, it's Joe Fear with GetThriveCart.com. In this video, I wanna show you the brand new way to set up a product with ThriveCart. There was just a big update, a lot of UI changes, the whole kind of procedure of creating your products have now shifted slightly. Uh, there's a lot of cool ways to now add things kind of very quickly. It's a lot more intuitive now, so we're gonna break that down right here in this quick video for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so now that we're logged inside of Thrivecart, it looks pretty similar, but if you're an avid user of Thrivecart, you're gonna notice some changes. And if you're brand new, well, like you, you could just kind of watch this video, and uh, this is your fast way to create a product inside of Thrivecart as it is right now. So uh, with these new updates, let's get started. So once you're logged in under your account, you can see this is a test account. We're just gonna create our new product right down here in the blue button. And you might get some errors if you don't have all of your stuff fully integrated. Just make sure you do that in the settings tab on top. So everything is a very step-by-step -step approach. We're basically going to start in this product tab on top and then work on all of these interior tabs to work through the process. So let's start with naming our product. I'm just gonna call it amazing product, very uh, unique and call it amazing over here. So this is just a label, it's for internal use only. You can see we have a URL. So this comes after your Thrivecart URL slash whatever you want to name it here. And that's for your checkout page. And then you have these three options. So you can uh, disable a product if you ever want to take it offline. Uh, you can use the test mode. That's what I highly recommend you doing right now as you're just building stuff out initially before taking orders. And you can do some test purchases and stuff that way. And then once you're ready to go live, you just flip the switch, hit save, and then you're ready to roll. So let's go test mode for now and hit next. Now you can see we're on the second tab, this kind of interior tab, and we have the pricing option. So let's start with currencies. You can see there's always new currencies being added. There's a whole bunch in here. I don't know what a lot of them are, <laughs> but that's a good thing because that gives you a lot more options depending on the country you're selling. Now uh, let's just go with US dollar. Inside of here, we can now create some pricing options per this product. So one of the newer features inside of Thrivecart is that you can put multiple different pricing options in here. So let's uh, select a couple just for this example. You can see this first one, we can have a one-time fee. So let's call it 500 bucks. And there's not gonna be any trial period and we don't wanna limit the quantity. You could, you could do that if you wish though. So let's click next. And uh, we wanna only do one purchase at a time. You could also do multiple purchases at once uh, for quantities, but we're not gonna do that for this one. Let's hit save and add another option. Let's do a subscription this time, bill it monthly, and let's call it 250 bucks a month. So kind of give them a payment plan there. Uh, you could see monthly price, today's price is 250. So add that up is 500. Uh, with no trial period and let's do a custom number of rebills and just put it at one. And what's really cool with Thrivecart is that it explains exactly what the pricing is going to be. So you could see they're going to be charged 250 bucks immediately. And then every month, only one time, it, they're going to be charged uh, again. So for that same price and it all is going to total out to $500, uh, which is what we're looking for. So you can see the quantity. Again, you can limit it or you can keep it unlimited for like digital products. And that's what we're gonna do. Hit next and hit save. And now you can see we have two different options, which is really cool. If you want to start collecting digital sales tax, that can be very smart based on your product, your business and where you live. So make sure that you just kind of know the laws and where, and, uh, where you're at and what business you're running. And Thrivecart pretty much handles everything for you, which is really cool. You can see it calculates and collects the relevant tax uh, based on your lo location. So a lot of people love that feature. We're gonna go without it for this one. And if you wish, you can actually customize people's receipts, every customer's receipts. And a little ninja trick, this is an easy way to cross sell and make more money per customer, is just offer something that's a similar product to what you're already sold and put a, a URL in here and make it you know, a, a sexy offer, something that's maybe discounted or exclusive and give them an option to buy. Again, it's just an easy way to upsell. 
outside of the um, upsell process that you can build in here. Uh, but it's a cool way to just, you know, capture up some more sales there. So once we finish all the pricing, go next. Now the bump tab is really cool. This is an opportunity to sell. Let's click that box. It looks like this on the checkout page. So it's simply just a checkbox. And instead of an upsell, this is a bump offer. So people can immediately add whatever it is to their total price. So let's just call it bump. Um, obviously you wouldn't go with that. And just call it 50 bucks here as that bump offer. Now you have the ability to actually change uh, now you have the ability to change any text inside of here. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of the video, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just simple descriptions, something that doesn't take a full sales page, something that is, is kind of a lower dollar amount, about under a hundred bucks or so. It's just something that's easy to explain. Uh, it could be more than that. It's definitely worth a try, but uh, typically we see really good conversions on this, sometimes up to 50, 60%. So definitely you want some bump offers in there. Anything that can add on to the product that they're purchasing. So let's hit next. And here, depending on what you have integrated for payment processors, you can see Thrivecard's going to accept Stripe, Authorize.net, PayPal, and Apple Pay. So you could select whichever one you want to put in here and then click save. Obviously more options. Basically the customer is going to feel a lot more comfortable and use what option they want to use. So let's hit the next button. This one, you have the ability to offer this product uh, to affiliates, to your affiliates. So if you have affiliates, that would be a good idea. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch that video right now. Oh, I've already cleared my cookies. Ah, okay, so you get the idea. Um, I think that's because I have some of these payment processors in here. I'm actually just gonna remove PayPal. I think that's the, the ticket there, there we go just for this example but obviously if you were setting this up you want to go through that procedure uh, thrivecart makes it very simple for you so what's really cool is for affiliates we have another video that really digs in deep with what you can do with your affiliate center so um, i'm not going to get into straight up detail there but you can offer different percentages based on the product and uh, the different affiliates so you can really customize stuff uh, when you have people promoting your products and you just set that up in here and you can also kind of dig into further affiliate stuff by clicking in here. We're not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna deselect this and then go next. Now you can see we moved to this upper top tab. And in here, this is pretty much the checkout process or after the fact, it's kind of fulfillment more or less. So we're gonna do support at evergreenprofits.com. And you can see here you have two options. You can either deliver your product to folks via a link which is very simple and really cool to do. So you can see the same uh, URL for all pricing options or different pre for each pricing option. So that's what's really cool is, you know, you can have one for that $500 one time or one for the subscription. I'm just gonna do the same and use a very bad example, but just put in Google. Obviously you're not gonna do that. And then for your bump offer, you can have a separate URL to, um, to basically access that. I'm just gonna call bump.com. Again, horrible name and example, but that's okay. Uh, the other option is you can integrate this directly with your membership platform. Again, I'm gonna get a little error here because I didn't integrate all of my stuff yet, but depending on whatever membership platform you use, it could be Teachable, Wishlist, uh, MemberPress, whatever thing you, you select, you basically select that here select which, um, which site or which level or depending on the integration you use, it's gonna have slightly different options. So basically fill that all out. It's a great way to automate this stuff and to um, pretty much make it seamless and, and the most secure when delivering your products. So I'm just gonna hit next. Oop, that is, uh, let's go here, there we go. Hit next and now we're off to the checkout tab. So you can select whatever design you want. I'm gonna go with this one. I like it the most and usually converts best for us. Um, in this video, we're not gonna totally go into all the details of how to design your checkout page. Again, uh, we did a video, really in-depth video on that at getthrivecart.com. Just search for it on the website and you'll find it there, designing checkouts. Uh, but there's so many options you can do, it's really cool. Uh, we're gonna go next. Same with the success page. You can customize this thing, add a video, 
some body text, all that stuff. Or you can redirect them to your own uh, custom page to your choosing. So we're going to hit next. And tracking is really cool. So if you want to add tracking, stuff like Google Analytics, um, any kind of Facebook tags, anything else that you use for tracking, you definitely want to put that in here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So um, again, we do have another video on that at getthrivecart.com if you really want to learn further. So we're going to hit, ne actually, I'm going to take that off and then hit next. And then the very last step here is to set up rules. So rules are really cool. And let's just show you an example. Again, we have another video. <laughs> Go to the website, I told you. Um, but here's an example is basically, you know, when someone makes a purchase or refunds a product or abandons a cart, payments declined, all this stuff, you can pretty much automate. So, you know, this, as a simple example, when someone purchases via maybe one of these payment options, you can split them out if you wish. They get uh, added to active campaign or autoresponder under a specific list, you know, that we want to choose or a tag or an automation. There's so many cool options, which is really nice. And um, it's just an awesome way to start, you know, automating further so you don't have to uh, do stuff manually. And it allows you for a lot better cross-selling and follow-ups. So let's go uh, get that URL. And I'm gonna show you now what our checkout page looks like. And there you go. It's pretty plain Jane, <laughs> but um, I didn't go through and add images of the products and the bullet points and our guarantee. You could do that inside of the designing phase, but uh, you'll see it is in test phase. So you cannot take orders like this. You could definitely test. So I'd recommend doing that prior to turning it live. But let's go back really fast. I'm gonna show you, if we go here, edit settings, and then just click that little tab right there, hit save. And let's go back to the tab, refresh, and there you go. Now, even though it doesn't look great, um, definitely would button that up first. You can now take orders. And you can see um, I selected just Stripe. So you can see you could select, a, or people will have the option to use any kind of credit cards, uh, things like that. They just select their, their option. You can see how it dynamically changes over there. And they enter in their information, complete their order. They could select this to add on that extra $50 bump offer, and then they complete the offer, um, the order there. So that is it. It's pretty amazing. Um, I know I went through it fast, but but literally it is that easy once you kind of know what you're what you're doing inside of Thrivecart and going through the motions. Um, that is how fast it is to really set up your own product in Thrivecart. So Definitely check it out for yourself. And if you don't have Thrivecart yet, go grab it at getthrivecart.com. We have a ton of cool bonuses there that just make it even easier, kind of sweetens the pot for you, but it's already sweet as it is. You're always going to get the best price going through us. So go check it out at getthrivecart.com. We line out all the good stuff for you there and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.